In this video, we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the Wacom tablet, a traditional pencil and paper, and of course, the trusty old mouse. And by the end of this video, I hope you're gonna know whether you should spend money on a tablet or save your shekels and roll with Old Faithful. Old Faithful is, of course, your mouse. Wacom or not, it's coming right up. Hey guys, Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com, and let's talk about the Wacom tablet. So Wacom sent me this beautiful Wacom Intuos Pro Medium tablet, and I figured I'd return the favor and talk to the good people of the internet and tell them why I need this tablet and how it stacks up to everything I use and care about. So let me also uh, throw in that this is brought to you by my weekly podcast, the We Geeks Podcast which you can find over at wegeekspodcast.com. I cover all things geek, design, Photoshop, photography, and more with Howard Pinsky from Ice Flow Studios, and new episodes come out every Friday. I'd be quite flattered if you would go over to the website and check it out. So I've used Wacom tablets for years, and this is the best tablet I've used yet. I'm not even going to talk about the insane pressure sensitivity, all the specs, the multi-touch features, the customizable keys and touch ring thing on the side, the wireless capabilities, or just the beauty of this tablet. I mean, that was just kind of one big plug, but whatever. I want to show you how this thing will change the way you work especially with graphics and photography. That's what we use our tablets for. Anyway, so uh, when I first wanted a tablet, this was years ago, I had a very hard time justifying spending the money, three, $400. But when I finally bought the Wacom tablet and spent a few days or weeks getting used to it, not only was the whole process very smooth, fluid, and fast, but my work got exponentially better because I was finally able to have a more exact control over any coloring or shading, any dodging and burning, anything like that that I was doing to my artwork or photography. This stupid tablet changed everything about how I work. It was like seeing HD TV for the first time. Indescribable, but once you've seen it, impossible to go back. So let's go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison and see how the Wacom stands up uh, to a few different competitors that I've arranged. So we're going to do a pencil and paper, mouse, and of course, the Wacom tablet. So I want to cover first speed and workflow. Now the good old classic pencil and paper, you can grab a sheet, grab your pencil and sketch away. It's pretty easy and totally natural. But after sketching, you still have to scan your artwork into Photoshop and you can't use your pencil in Photoshop. So that's gonna knock it down. I'm gonna give it about a two on a scale of one to 10. The mouse on the other hand sits in your hand. It's really difficult to sketch or draw with. It's always been kind of clunky. So we'll give that a three. Uh, now speed kills and the Wacom sits on my desk every day. Not sure how I'm still alive. You pick it up and paint. This one is super natural. I'm gonna give it an eight. And next up, we're gonna talk about functionality. First, we've got the pen and pencil, or the pencil and paper, I should say. You put the pencil to paper, you get results. You might need a box of pencils, rubs, charcoals, all that stuff before you can really expand your options. So kind of limited, but in the right hands, it's absolute dynamite. However, again, I can't retouch or use my pencil in Photoshop, and that hurts, so I'm only gonna give it a four. The mouse has a sweet laser and left and right click buttons. Not much going on here for this one, so eh. I mean, I'll give it a three. The Wacom, we've got multi-touch pinch and zoom and finger roll to rotate your Photoshop document. The full power of opacity and flow behind thousands, literally thousands of Photoshop brush options and quick buttons to modify any of those options in seconds right there on the tablet. The functionality virtually literally drips off of a good tablet. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10 for functionality. Now, touch and feel. The pencil and paper, nothing beats the sound or feel of your favorite pencil on an amazing piece of fiber paper. It never gets old. That gets an eight. I've used a mouse since I was three years old, uh, so it feels pretty natural to me. Uh, not really for sketching or retouching, though, at a high level, um, but it is usable if the results don't really need to be really, really great. I'm going to give it a seven. Now, for the Wacom, there's a learning curve uh, that ranges from a few hours to a few weeks, so that hurts this a little, but once you get it down pat, the Wacom hums so nicely. It's super smooth. feels really good. Uh, doesn't really come near real, real pencil and paper, though, so I'm going to give this a six. Now, for price, the pencil and paper is like five bucks, so I'm going to give that a brilliant 10 out of 10. 
right there. And a mouse, typically you're gonna pay about $50 depending on which direction you go uh, for a really great mouse. You're gonna pay a little bit more than that even. I'm gonna roll with $50 here though just to kind of help find a, a bit of an average. So I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10 on the price scale. And then the Wacom tablet is far and away the most expensive here. Uh, the Wacom Intuos Pro Medium that I'm using here for this uh, it was $349.99, that's what it retails at. So I'm gonna give this a four out of 10. However, you can pick up a Wacom for as little as $79.99. So I'm gonna add three points back in and finish out the Wacom's price. Also, just like the mouse, at a brilliant seven out of 10. That tablet obviously isn't the pro medium shebang, uh, but it's 80 bucks instead of 349.99. So we end up with the pencil scoring 24. As you see, the mouse scores a lowly 20 and the Wacom scores a lusty 31, far and away blowing out the other options. So after seeing how everything graded out, in my experience, picking up a tablet was essentially a no brainer. And shortly after I got it, I was proved right because as I mentioned before, this child of all things beautiful and lovely has changed the way I work. And I hope it does the same for you if you go out and pick one up. So please leave a comment below. Let me know how your tablet has changed your work. Or maybe if you think my rankings are flat out insane, how would you rank these things? What do you think is the most valuable? Is a tablet even worth it? Or do you find that there are other great alternatives to a Wacom tablet and why? I would love to hear from you about this. Make sure you go ahead and like the video. That always helps a lot and is a super cool way that you can help out this video. Uh, comments are always great as well. And if you like the video, feel free to share it with your friends. So Wacom or not, are you gonna get a tablet? I would love to hear from you below. That's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. Catch you guys later.